Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of Alien Assault Rifle, which is being made by user Hank Spamadre Sandelgos, and what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is, well... This, an Alien Assault Rifle, which is based off of the design for the in-game Alien Blaster, but is meant to be a little bit more diverse and give you a lot more options in how you can customize it, where you can just use it as this basic Alien Assault Rifle, or change it to anything from a shotgun to a very wonderful Alien Beam Rifle that I've had a lot of fun with so far. And so you may be wondering, how do you get your hands on on this absolutely gorgeous gun, well, if you want to be not cheaty and find it in the world, you need to go and find the alien crash site in the game and it will be on the alien body there, or the alien that's alive. You'll then kill him and take it off of his body. Now if you've already found the crash site, already killed the alien, it will not spawn on his corpse, so the only way to get it legit is to find a random legendary enemy in the world with this gun, as it will be added to the loot table for legendary enemies only. So you won't find this out and about for a gunner or something like that. It has to be a legendary. Or, of course, you could just do what I did for this video and go to your console commands, and you just need to put in your load order number. So for me, it's 03, and then for the gun, it's 000800, and that will give you one of these glorious little alien assault rifles, and then you can mess with it just like any other gun. Now first, let's take a look at it in our inventory. So the base light alien assault rifle that we have here with all the just standard low level mods will do about 58 damage. It does use the alien rounds. It has a fire rate of 90, accuracy of 119, or range of 119, sorry about that, accuracy of 61, weight of 6, and value of 1380. So overall, a pretty decent little gun, and it is an assault rifle, so even on the basic standard gun, we have automatic fire, which is pretty cool. Now, if you want to make it even better, you can go into the weapon workbench and customize it at will. And we will start up here with the different capacitors. And these, of course, will just increase the power and accuracy and either lower or increase the firing rate of the gun and everything from a low energy capacitor, which increases ammo capacity and fire rate, but reduces damage all the way to the high efficiency capacitor, which slightly reduces ammo capacity and fire rate, but does a crap load of damage. And personally, that's the one I like, which, why can't I build it? Hmm. Oh no, I already have it attached. Never mind. I built one of these earlier and then detached it. <laughs> oh, there's my lovely memory. There we go. Now in barrels, a pretty usual for barrel designs, but as you can see here, we have a variety of just cool looking alien versions of them from a short barrel, long barrel, short triple barrel, uh, the regular triple barrel, a marksman barrel, a spread shot barrel, which is, oh boy, fire seven projectiles. Pretty fun. A long spread shot barrel, which turns it into a long range shotgun. The beam barrel, and finally, the long beam barrel. And this is really how you're going to change it to the different kinds of guns. I mean, already it's a space assault rifle. Now, if you want to turn it into more of a shotgun, you'd use the spread shot barrel. If you want to turn it more into a sniper rifle, the marksman barrel, or that fun and lovely beam rifle the long beam barrel, which we're gonna build one of those because it's just glorious. Excellent. Oh my, I've run out of materials for other things. Oh, that's great. <laughs> then for stocks, of course, you, you have your standard, your sto standard stock, which is not that impressive looking, a recoil compensating stock, which is a bit more nice and alien looking, and the marksman stock, which really turns it into a nice sleek design there. Now, I've already built one of these, so let's just go ahead and attach that one to it. And it's uh, quite nice in its look. 
So, now next is the power cell. Now this is quite nice because if you don't have alien power cells or if you run out, you can turn this thing over to using fusion cells, but it's going to greatly reduce the damage. Now just from the standard base damage of this gun, using the alien power cells, you'll be about, without any modifications, about 30% more powerful than a laser rifle. With the fusion cell conversion and no other mods, you'll be about only 10% more powerful than a standard laser rifle. So I'd keep it as this, but of course you may run out of those one day, so you may have to convert over. And yes, I have already built one of those. We might play around with that in a little bit. And then of course, sight, you know, your standard sort of sights in the game. I mean, all of them end up just looking like the standard side as you can see up here so not really much difference to them but still cool to have and then with the muzzle we have a focuser a compensator and a bayonet similar function to any other gun but the bayonet kind of looks like a probe and i don't know why but i kind of find that funny so yes we now have a lovely overcharged bayoneted alien beam rifle and this well, this is just fun. I really like this thing. <laughs> I've been having a lot of fun with the beam rifle setting. Oh, uh, just look at that cool whirling blade that we, or not blade, but barrel that we have on the front of this thing. And you just hold down to fire and you get that amazing bass sound. And you may not have noticed that, but watch when we recharge. Let's fire a little bit and then recharge and watch the barrel. Uh, this is one of my favorite features about this. When you actually do reload, the barrel stops glowing because, of course, it lost power. And I I don't know why. It's just a, it's a small thing, but I like it. And the beam, well, the beam is just fun. Just listen to that bass. Oh, it's glorious. But, of course, you could turn it into any other form of gun that you are wanting. So, for instance, I do have one of the long spread shot barrels. So we have a more long range shotgun. And let's just take a look at that firing. And, of course... Boom. Lovely little spread of uh, laser rounds. Very good indeed. One per shot. And of course, uh, similarly, if we reloaded, that barrel coloring would go off, but I have no more ammo to reload with, so that might be a problem. But of course, like I said, if we ever do run out of our alien uh, power cells here, we can always convert over to fusion cells and be on our merry way. We do lose damage potential, uh, but I do enjoy the look of the gun there. So we can just keep on firing, and boom, you can see the barrel going off there. Excellent. Uh, but yeah, that is the Alien Assault Rifle. I've really been enjoying my, enjoying my time with this thing. It's just a fun, nice little gun. And I mean, again, who doesn't want to mess around with alien technology? It's just entertaining. And now I have an automatic alien shotgun. And that just makes life wonderful. Uh, but yeah, that is going to be it for this particular episode. If you do want to try out this mod for yourself, which I would definitely say to go and give it a uh, give it a try, uh, you can check out the link in the description, as always. And uh, I do, of course, hope you have enjoyed this episode and that you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always... Have a good one, and now I'm going to continue trying to snipe this dog with a freaking shotgun. Going better than I thought, but still not too great. Alright, later folks!